Hello, my friends. Welcome back to MTD CNC. Uh, how many of you guys and gals out there absolutely love a good USA manufacturing story? Yeah, I see your head nodding. I see the whole camera moving right now. So many are shaking your head. Well, guess what? I am at AMPG today with my buddy Adam Alex here in Indianapolis. Now, think of a company that started as a distributorship around 1987 in New York jumped over to Indianapolis around 2004 and started in about a 19,000 square foot building who then now has around 140,000 square feet and constantly expanding. This is a family owned company and Alex is second generation. So he was running around in diapers. He's gonna to get to tell us the story about a little bit of the history, about a little bit of the present and a lot of the future for those of you who wanna get involved and someone who can make quality products for you with great lead times and a family owned business supporting American manufacturing. With that being said, and all my long winded talking, Alex, and welcome to MTV CNC. Thank you so much for allowing us to come in. Thank you, I appreciate you coming in. Absolutely a pleasure. So let's start with you running around in diapers or even before that with your father starting the company in 87, some of the move and some of the growth that's gone into the company. Sure, well, it looked a lot like this. It was a lot of inventory. You know, we didn't make manufacture anything. We were uh, just an industrial distributor, uh, hard to find, sort of weird, wacky stuff. Um, and we sort of continued that way uh, until we moved here in, in 2004. And we started buying machinery maybe uh, four or five years later. Uh, but we didn't, we didn't set up like we are now uh, until uh, 2010. So we're thinking, set up like we are now around 2010 and being around your machine shop and all the high quality machines in there. I was first doing the math on your growth from 2004, but it's actually been later than that. So you guys are growing extensively. Right? Yeah, it's, uh, it's gone turbo. So when we think of going turbo, I instantly see a snail on a cartoon because I have young children, right? But at the same time, going turbo obviously means we're going very fast. Now, with that being said, and the growth being what it is, what kind of parts do you guys currently make? Well, we specialize in fasteners uh, and engineer components, but we really, um, we really make, well, we really can make everything. Um, and we, we do have uh, lots of uh, different types of product lines other than fasteners. You know, we make uh, architectural hardware, machine tool components, uh, a lot of specialty type washers, uh, really anything that runs through so start machines. Talking with a lot of your colleagues here, a lot of people that you work with, you are really focused on maximizing the ability of a machine through automation because we all know about a labor shortage that's currently going on. But even without the labor shortage, we're all trying to create as much profitability. And a lot of the parts that are probably here aren't going to be $1,000 parts or $2,000 parts. You're talking about how quickly and effectively can I machine a part to precision but how quickly can I do that? That's right. You know, we, we do keep uh, lots of inventory, you know, tons, <laughs> no, no pun intended. Uh, yeah, we have uh, millions and millions of dollars in finished goods inventory. Uh, and that's, you know, that's part of our value proposition, right? We have we have stuff that no one else uh, makes in inventory. Uh, but uh, because of the, the size, the breadth of our product line, you know, going to 50, 60,000 SKUs, we have to be able to manufacture very quickly, right? Because we can't, we can't keep everything in stock all the time. So the uh, automation, that, that's what automation is in, in, in our light sound manufacturing. Alex, that is a whole lot of skews. And we're sitting here looking about, I can't even tell you how deep this inventory goes. So I would imagine my next question to you needs to be the importance of your relationships with your customers and how important it is for them to be able to rely on you to have such an array of inventory. Uh, so, you know, our, our customers uh, are really the lifeblood of our business, obviously, uh, and you know, it's a, it's a partnership and it's trust, and we keep we keep this inventory for them so that they can uh, service their customers. Lifeblood, Alex. I really like that statement. I do because uh, the audience knows us watching right now. They pay attention to MTV a lot. We get to spend a lot of time in factories. Uh, not always alike one another, but the sentiment all the time that everyone talks about is how important service and support is. So lifeblood is such a strong and powerful word. Now, we kind of talked about this a minute ago. I'd like to talk about it again because we talked about what you're making, but the fact that you can make darn near anything. So this part, I'd love for the audience to go, well, 
sounds like AMPG is a quality company. We want to support American manufacturing. We want to support a family-owned company. So for someone who's curious about working with you, is it pretty much any part of the industry of manufacturing you at least look at to support? Well, we specialize in a lot of stainless steels. Uh, our, our Swiss machines run from, you know, let's say an eighth of an inch up to an inch and a half in OD. Uh, we have, uh, you know, cobots attached to our large hammer lathes. Uh, so, you know, uh, a lot of different type of screw products, spacer products. Uh, you know, one, one business we haven't really uh, explored or got into that heavily yet is, is medical. Um, you know, we have these, these star, star machines that make bone screws and all sorts of uh, different thread cutting on screws and we just we haven't got into that. Um, so that's certainly um, you know medical dental uh, that's something we're looking forward to doing in the future. Alex I'm happy you said that audience watching right now I know there are so many of you looking for quality teams that you can work with because the medical industry is booming. The dental industry is booming. So if you're looking for that quality partner, I personally walked around the shop we're talking 44 star machines run by seven employees, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. I mean, these things are running with high precision and quality. Alex will be the guy that you can get in touch with when it comes to that. And the entire company as a whole here in the middle of the country, which is also great for distributorship. Now, Alex, I'd like to close this whole thing out with your second generation, your coming in, the future of AMPG. Where do you see the future of the company and where would you like to take it based on your father's legacy and moving from New York and Well, I think, you know, um, to continue to grow a successful company, uh, you need to focus on the culture and more people. And, you know, that's not, not just something to say, it's something, you know, that, that we live here. Um, the future, in, in, in my eyes, is continuing on with building, building our fantastic business, our fantastic culture, uh, and you know, buying more equipment, getting into more uh, industries, and really focusing on automation because that's where we can grow uh, without um, grow without limitations. Yeah, very very well said, Alex. We're talking over 30 years of business. You can't be rubbish and be alive for 30 years when it comes to this industry how amazing it is around the world. So here at MTV, we wish you another 30, 60, 90, 100 plus years of success. For those of you who want to know more, the website is ampg.com. Reach out anytime, ask for my buddy Alex, ask for my buddy Jeff, who you saw in other videos. They're happy to help you. And thank you all for watching, Alex, one more time. Thank you so much for allowing Thanks. us to come in and share your story. Appreciate it, thanks.